Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my bullet journal for 2021. So I'll be using an art journal journal. This is the B5 size and it's the near to quantum colours with all different colours there. These journals are incredible. I absolutely love art journaling. This was kindly gifted to me by them. So this is what I'll be using for this year. If you'd like a discount code, I have an affiliate code. It will be in the description down below, so you'll be able to use that and that can give you 10% off. So, let's get started. Here is the first page within my journal. So this is just a theme that I'm going with. We've got the triangles and the post-it notes. And yeah, this is the first page. I've got my name, the year, and some cute little quotes just to help motivate me when I open my book. Okay, so, word of the year. I know a lot of people do this. I have never done this before, so this is something new for me. I've decided to go for the word commitment. This year, I want to be fully focused on everything I do, fully commit, fully try, and just give full commitment to everything I give a go this year. So that is my word for the year. Then, I've done a message to myself. So obviously, I've covered it over because it's private to me, but this page, is it's like a notebook kind of style and what i've done is i wrote a message to myself something to help motivate me when i'm feeling down or just a little pick me up message so if ever i want to go back read that get some motivation that's what that page is for moving on we have the calendar layout this is just a simple layout so when i'm going through my bullet journal and i want to put the calendar pages in Basically what I'll do is I'll go back to each one and it will give me when the first starts and then I can look at like the layout of each one. So this is just a page to help out later on in the year. 2021 themes. So what I will do with this one is each box I will make a mini cover page of each theme that I do each month. Just to have a collective of all the themes that I've done for this year. Okay, grid cheat sheet. I know a lot of people do these, but they are so handy. This sheet will just give you all the layouts that you need for boxes, for grids. So I've used it already within doing these. I've gone back to here, had a look at what spacing I need, gone back to the page I'm using and then just used that. It's really helpful. Okay, this year I really want to get back into reading. I used to read a lot, but just with busy times, I haven't been able to read a lot. So I've got my reading tracker. What I will do, is every time I start a new book, I will colour, let's say for example, pink, and I read it for 20 days. Then when I start a new book, I will change the colour and then carry on. So that way I can keep um, an idea of what books I've read and when I've changed over to a book. And then here, this is when I will write what title it was and then how many books I've read at the bottom. So I'm keeping the bookmark, there's two bookmarks in the option one of the book. So I'm keeping one bookmark on what I'm actually doing and the other bookmark I'm keeping on the grid cheat sheet. So that's there, so I can go back to that really easy. Okay, next one, Instagram and YouTube tracker. So these are just individual trackers for each month where I can write down how many followers I've got on each at the end of each month so I can see the progress and growth of each one. And then I've got my health tracker and period tracker. So this is where I will track all health issues or health problems that will all be there for the year this side is when i will track my period so keep on top of both of them things to check out so this page is divided up into four different things that i like looking at the most and usually things just get too busy and i forget what was that thing that i wanted to have a look at so what this page is is i will write down all the things that i wanted to look at once I've looked at them, I'll tick them off. And yeah, that's that page. Passwords. So, I never change passwords, so now's the time that I need to change my passwords. So what I've got this spread is, this will be where I change all my passwords up. I'll write, say for example, Instagram, and then what the username and password is. So I'll keep this page private for myself, but I will write down all the passwords on here so I don't forget them because it's time for new passwords. <laughs> things to do when bored. So this spread, I find myself sometimes just sitting there thinking, well, what can I do today? 
So this spread is to help me when I'm a bit like, oh, what should I do? What would cheer me up? All the things that I enjoy doing around this spread. So I'll come to here, find something to do. Yeah, 50 things to do in 2021. So I haven't really thought of what 50 things I want to do yet. So if you've got any suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. So I'd love to see what you think. But what I'm going to do is challenge myself to do 50 things. Not huge things, just little things that I want to try and challenge myself to do. And yeah, this will be the spread where I keep on track of that. Okay, so photos, 2021 in photos. So I think I'll probably get four months within this journal. So I've done four for now. I know normally everyone does two journals a year, but here was my issue. Because of the colours, I wanted to incorporate two colours per month. So say for January, it will be craft and black. February will be white and craft and so on. So because I'll be using so many pages, I can only fit four months within it. Now that's fine. I journal a lot. I do a lot of um, diary pages and I like writing a lot about my day. So I know I can fill that up. It won't be a problem. So I will probably use three journals this year. And I'll use three of the same Neapolitan Marginal Knowledge Journal. So on this spread, I will put a photo here or a Polaroid or whatever I print out and then write a little bit here about that photo or a, just a memorable thing from that month. So yeah, this will be a really nice spread. I can't wait to do this one. And then finally, the last spread is my brain dump. Now I did try putting these in monthly and I just didn't use them. So one at the beginning of the year that I can keep coming back to. Now. This one, Pentess. So I've done my Crayola Super Tips, Uniball, some other Crayola Metallics, and STAs. So basically, these are test pens of different pens that I've got. Because I've never used the craft paper before, I wanted to see what the pens were like before I started planning for January. So I've done the same halfway through. This one's not completely done, but as you can see, I've done it on the black paper as well, just to test what pens work best for this kind of paper. But there you have it. That is my setup for 2021. Let's have one last little clip through of it. That is my 2021 setup for this year in my Archer and Olive Neapolitan journal. I hope you enjoyed it. If you decide to recreate anything I've made here, please tag me in it. Show me in the comments or tag me on Instagram. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.